What's up guys? It's Will from Bass Bay and today I am doing a top 7 bass fishing lures for spring. So let's jump right into it. Do it. First would be a nice lipless crankbait. This is a Booyah, a red eye shad I believe. Um, you don't need to just use Booyah, use a bunch of others. You could use like a Bill Lewis. Rattle, rattle trap and a lipless crankbait. You can use this um, nice bluegill pattern. I forgot what the name brand of this, but yes, these are the first lures that would catch you big fish in the spawn for bass. Okay, secondly would be a nice soft plastic, like a craw or a lizard. And even if you use googan baits, a nice bandito bug or a cracking craw. Those, you can do them on a weightless Texas rig, a weighted Texas rig, a shaky head, and even on the back of a jig. And that's actually one that's on for the top seven. So let's jump into the third one, a square bill. Okay, now this is the third one. A square bill. This is a KVD. Um, I also think this is a red eye shad. I totally forgot. Really nice. Doesn't have any rattles to it. Oh, that's just the eye line. See, no rattles. But it's got a nice wobble. That will get the big fish out of the bed and to chase this lure around. Now that is the third, which I guarantee these will all catch you very nice fish. So now let's jump into the fourth one, a suspended jerkbait. You can use a suspended or a non-suspended jerkbait. This, I believe, is a Rapala jerkbait. Um, I got it when I went uh, to a, me and my friends had a fishing uh, challenge, and I got this. So, but a uh, jerkbait is going to have a nice, like, floating jerk which would get it to shine and get the big bass out of the bed and attacking this just as well. But this was a really nice bait. You could use it. Um, you can use any brand, not just Rapala. Let's jump on to the fifth one, Frogs. Frogs. Um, this one, I believe, is a Booyah. A lot of my stuff's Booyah. Um, but this... Uh, is a frog. I did not trim the tail. I should. But you could throw this over the bed um, and start slowly reeling it, getting it a nice top water blow up. Even if they're not in the bed and just near, this will give them a nice blow up. Um, but they mainly only see bottom. This has a uh, yellow lip and a white bottom. Really nice. Um, I believe I haven't caught any fish on this. This season, or this year, was very bad for bass fishing. I've tried, like, every day of the week. Got nothing. But I'm sure this year is going to be amazing. 2020, starting off strong. So let's get into the sixth one, a jig. Okay, so this is a black and blue jig. I forgot the brand of it. I'm losing all brands. But you could pair this up with a 10,000 fish craw. Because this is a... Um, the color was a saw craw. Uh, it looks like a green pumpkin and a blue with black flake. But that would look amazing if you trim it down a little bit. Um, you can use all different colors. This, you could use, like, the Guggenbait's Bandito Bug or their Cracking Claw, Craw for this. I use the Yum uh, Money Craw as a trailer for this. I just, right now I don't have it out with me because um, it's in my bag. Uh, I don't want to pull it out right now. But this was the sixth one. Really nice. You could uh, flip it under uh, branches. Um, and flip it on the bed, make it look like it's trying to eat eggs, and you will get a nice bass to blow up on this. Now let's move on to the seventh one, popper. 
Okay, so this is the seventh one, a popper. This is frog color. Um, honestly, I have no clue what brand this was. I got found it in my tackle box a while ago. But, um, yeah, you can pull, throw it over the bed or kind of use it like a frog. Uh, just treat this like a frog and you would get good blow-ups. Um, this would throw more water because it's designed for that, but you can get this frog throwing water too. But these, that's all seven, and please leave a comment if you want me to do more on all seasons. Like, subscribe, hit that bell, and this is Will from Bass Bait signing out. Peace.